everyone. Welcome to the pre-recording of the graphics programming virtual meetup. Our meetup have a Discord server. So welcome to join this Discord server following the permalink below. You can also find the permalink on the meetup.com website of our page. And today's topic is retracing the rest of your life, chapter eight to nine. We are near the end of this retracing in a weekend book series. And we will only have one episode after this one to talk about the rest of the book. And then afterwards, I will also have a bonus episode that focuses on stuff that I think is important or fun but not covered in the book. For example, triangle ray intersection. The topic today is first also normal basis and then sampling light directly. So we will finally apply the important sampling technique we developed for a while to practice. But before we talk about important stuff, let's talk a little bit about also normal basis. Uh, also normal basis, or in short OMB, is a collection of three mutually orthogonal unit vectors. And when we see, so far we only use one also normal basis, the Cartesian XYZ axis. But if we can have a lot more than that. I should have a plus sign in the middle instead of minus. But the point is, if we currently when we have a point x, y, and z, we know it's, it is in the global also normal basis where its origin is zero and it have x and x, y, and z as unit vectors point to each axis. But also we can have another also normal basis where it is represented by three orthogonal uh, unit vectors, u, v, w, and its origin is not at the uh, origin of the word space. To generate uh, also normal basis, we use the uh, classic uh, cross product trick because we are in 3D. If we are in higher dimension, then we need something called the Grand Schmitt's uh, process that we describe in a linear algebra course. This way in 3D, then this process is simple and also used in a lot of graphics app applications. If we are up to vector n, that we want to construct an also normal basis on, and uh, up vector a, and we just need to pick an a that is not parallel to n, then we can do what we can do is using a cross n to get a vector that is guaranteed to be parallel or be perpendicular to both. And then we normalize that to get another vector t. So we know t is perpendicular to n. However, a is not necessarily perpendicular to n, so we need to do cross product again of t and n to get another vector s. This way we get three, uh, uh, three normalized vectors, all of them three unit vectors, and all of them are orthogonal to each other. So we get also normal basis. And giving such uh, also normal basis, if we just plug in some numbers, we can get a function. Uh, that generate point in the word space using that also normal base. Notice in this function we still assume the origin is at uh, zero point. Now we have the also normal basis class. As I said before, we just ignore the origin now, but just focus on the three axes. And we have this build from W function that it should be called build from N. The book calls it build from W. 
and it's it used the process described before and notice how they choose the app vector a by saying if if the x axis of our should be uh, not w oh yeah it is w because the the book assign n to w oh anyway then if we find the x-axis is near 1, then we pick the y-axis as our up vector. It's, otherwise, we just pick x-axis. This way, we guarantee to have a vector that is not parallel to our input vector. Then we can just use this also number basis to rewrite our Lambertian material. And the result should be exactly the same. Now let's talk about exciting stuff. How to sample sample light directly? For a light area A, if we sample uniformly on that light, the PDF on the surface of the light is 1 over A. What is it on the area of the union sphere that defines the direction? Things and look at this diagram. If we look at boxes, if we look at the small area DA on the left, the probability of sample it is p small p uh, colon p, q times DA. Uh, and on the sphere, the probability of sampling the small area dw on the sphere is p direction, which makes a lot of sense, times dw, because p direction is we are trying we are trying to get uh, get get a differential here, and there is a geometry relationship between dw and da that. This is basically geometry from high school. And then the book says, since the probability of sampling dw and da must be the same, we have p direction times da times cosine alpha divided by distance square of p and q, which after some calculation is just equal to da over a. Thus, we get the p direction, the distance square uh, divided by cosine alpha times a. If we hack our recolor function to sample the light in the very hard coded fashion, notice in this code, we basically hard code the light position in the recolor function without actually using the information about the light, light in our scene and we just hard code to sample, sample on that light point and we get this result of Cornell box sampling only the light with samples per pixel which is a lot less noisy then the naive version with with the uniform sampling the scattering version previously we have 10 simple pixels will be really really noisy but also you notice the shadow side of the geometry can become really dark in this approach because we sample too much the light So the noisy pops around the light on the ceilings, if you notice that in the previous picture, are because the light is two-sided and there is a small space between light and the ceiling. That clearly is a problem, so we can fix that by letting the immediate member function of heatable take some extra information of the faces. 
So this is like face curling, but for light. And so, and then I will have light become only one face. If we hit the front face, we emit. Otherwise, if we hit hit the back face of the light, then we just return black. And we also add we also add another class called flip face that will just flip the normal direction that point to negative y direction. With that, we can use the previous light, but we need to flick the face to make the normal point downward. And we get this final result, which is pretty nice. Thank you for watching the episode of pre-recording graphics programming virtual meetup. Next time we will finish the recent in Weekend book. <laughs>